In this video, we're going to show you how to make Mary. She's an ornament. It's machine embroidery. You do need a large hoop. She is freestanding applique, which is way cool. It's two pieces of fabric that are sandwiched with batting and it's done on water soluble interfacing that washes away. And then you're left with this really pretty component that has satin stitch for the edge. She needs a body that is also has her halo included, her cloak, her arm, little Jesus's uh, body, and then the two faces. Uh, each week will be a new piece, and they're really fun. For example, here's a camel. It just turns out so cute. So watch for them as they come out, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with this. Let's show you how to make Mary's sleeve. It's the same technique for her body and her cloak. I've used a large hoop with water-soluble interfacing. On the sleeve, I formatted it to get two sleeves out of one hoopy because you need that large hoop for the length of the sleeve. But since it's ornaments and I'm going to make several Marys, I can make one sleeve and then the other sleeve and not waste that. So I'm going to make a sandwich. This is two pieces of fabric, wrong sides together. Often I'll put a thin polyester bonnet batting in between. This is warm and natural. That works as well. I'm going to call up my pattern and the first stage of applique is a single stitch to give it the shape. So I'm going to put my sandwich over that area where it's going to stitch and stitch out that single stitch for the first stage. Now I could do a huge sandwich for the whole hoop that would give me two sleeves the same color or I can make a new sandwich and do my other sleeve. Now I completed that single stitch that I'm going to come back and cut right next to that stitching. Cut all that extra fabric away. I want it as close as I can get and um, without compromising that single stitch. Then I'll take it back to the machine. I'll do the second stage of applique, which is a zigzag all the way around. And then it will um, do the satin stitch for the last stage. Now here you can see it finished the beautiful satin stitch. It just comes out gorgeous. And I did spray adhesive, some extra water soluble underneath to give it that stability. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this extra space to stitch out the angel arms so that I'm not wasting this. Um, and then I'll cut out the extra water soluble around each component, soak it in water and then let it dry overnight. The faces were done the same way, only one layer of fabric, and but I did put batting on the back because there are so many jump stitches that those stitches will show on this side. Plus, I like how the stitching's kind of sink in. That looks really cool. Then I'm going to take a double thread and I'm going to hand baste around the outside of the head pull it and try to stuff as much stuffing as I can into the center and pull it. Now it won't pull all the way to the back. When I do that, it creates too much, uh, too many wrinkles around the outer edge of the front. So I'm just going to stuff as much as I can, especially out to the edges and then have that fabric just roll over enough. Then what I'll do is go back and forth across that opening to really secure it, to make that little face. And I try to get it as stuffed as I can so it's a little more rounded around the edge. Another way to keep it from puckering on the sides is to take your pencil once you've kind of got it stitched a little bit take your pencil and just push the batting out to the edges 
and try to round it as much as you can. Now the back won't show at all because it's placed on top of the body like that. It's completely covered, especially when we add the hair. So the baby, you know, might look kind of messy on the back, but once he's placed there with a little bit of hair, none of that shows. So what we're going to do is take this curly doll hair, and I just buy this on the internet, Amazon, just do a search for curly doll hair, and I'm just going to whack a piece that I think will be full enough for Mary. Now I can just douse this with uh, hot glue and then just place that hair like that. That works too. But I'll show you what I another way I like to do this. Starting at one side of the head, I just thread, double thread with a similar color as the hair and tie a knot in the end and then come up and gather some loops and go back down where I came up with the thread. So it won't, the threads won't show, but I'm just gathering and grabbing a little scoop of that hair. And I kind of style it as I go. Mary is finished. We've wrapped her cloak and her little arms around her. We put the baby underneath her arms, attached her head to her little halo. We've blushed her cheeks with colored pencil and his cheeks, and she just turns out darling. I hope you enjoyed this. Come to our website to see our other nativity characters, and thanks for watching.